hello guys how are y'all so I'm here to present you a little thing I, I was doing here I was actually thinking about how much we need sometimes the the SLUV based map to do our stuff I mean we basically just try out some stuff in the base maps here. I have the Ro Robin Hood one as so everyone just knows. So I was looking around on the internet for a quite a bit some time. I'm not doing much uh, on body, I mean textures and bodies. But I decided to make uh, a little mesh and import this to the Photoshop 3D feature so we can easily bake things here. Our little guy here just a base mesh. I just spread his legs a bit here if you want to something here around the the thighs I don't know I really apologize about the lighting here I couldn't fix it well but basically you need a Photoshop that has a 3d option here so you can work um, if you guys haven't saw this it's a, a 3d layer above of the regular one here's the 2d and the 3d layer we can work around we can do everything here so uh, for instance if you're making something on the on a, a head here I have the the Avalon head here. If you guys work with projections on 3D on Photoshop, I mean I don't know. You guys can work here on Blender as well. I can I can actually texture really well here in Blender, but I'm putting the OJ and the Colada files as well. Uh, it has three materials: the head, the torso, and the legs. Um, they are separately here you guys can see here you can test your stuff here on blender if you use it but you can test on the Photoshop as well I'm just explain how it works because sometimes people get a bit confused here on the Photoshop part here so the base here we have just a, a dummy actually that has all the three materials the head, the torso and the bottom okay first of all everything you, you do in this 3D layer you need to have a layer that is just above this for instance I'm going to draw something here on the mesh let's try just a quick stuff here just a heart oops okay you guys if you guys grab like a, a texture on internet for a tattoo or something or you want to draw something okay you'll draw here and then on this layer here it's a 2d 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 layer sorry okay so if you try to move around here it's not going to move only the bash okay so for instance here I draw a heart on his chest so if I baked it 
back down something like this in English it's the first option for blending here okay uh, back down or something like that merge down actually okay <laughs> wait for a while so it's already baked here if you move around your mesh It's taking a while because the file is the file is really really big. Let's try here. Oh Jesus! Okay, here. If you see here, the heart I drew on his chest is here. Um, of course, it's a little pixelated because I couldn't handle to put the resolution of the file bigger than this. Uh, the size of this thing is about um, it's 90 almost 10,000 pixels okay so well its textures is a second life and I just drew uh, a heart here so so if I draw a heart here on the torso area, where I'm going to look for it, it's going to be here on the texture tab here. Just let me close this scene. It's actually running at a little slow because of the size of the file. <laughs> I have the blender, the second live open here, so anyways here we have the the top torso. So the thing I merge down on the torso that is the same thing as the the heads or if you're making makeup here okay so if you open up this texture here you will see the the awfully draw heart is here I put a a text here saying always added things here on this layer okay because of this um, I don't know how to call it grades here um, this this triangles here you can save this on another file reopen it okay this base here or even if you have a s base skin to test on it okay and then you can correct these things here okay I'm going to show you here how to how the heart that I just drew there would look like in the real world here let's go there cell by smash and ugly heart okay okay remember here when you save to upload to second life you, you need to put on um, two zero two zero forty eight at most or it won't load okay you can make this other layer here bigger maybe the texture will like get better I don't know here the ugly heart save okay I'm going to try to be a bit quicker here because it's really simple but I really need to show you how to actually work around here if you want to try it um here you, you may close okay do not all oh, never 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 just edit on the base and um, texture here just another layer here if you want to close it here let's put again here or else we could get a little transparent or something okay okay here let's go into the world sorry my 
my body is a little awkward here. I was just making a face skin for the Lutka, so. But basically, here, this this um, little thing here, I, I call it a system, but actually, just to help you, I always go out uh, to make things. So, um, you guys will not use much for heads because the people are using like more HD heads nowadays. But if you are using like Genus or even evolution heads, you can do it, it will work. And even SLUV base head, any SLUV base head. So, basically, for this head, I use the this um, kit here I got from Lelutka. Every mesh and skin desire gets, gets this from the website. Um, I guess it comes with a, the Avalon and the the Ford one, I guess. It's the same thing actually, okay? Um, the only thing here is if you try to do something like 82 for the Evo X head, maybe you guys will need to work around with this on Blender, maybe import in the OBJ file here, like try to match here it's kind of complicated I did not put the heads because they own they are on to the loot cannot myself they are this is our the base smash of second life so I made this mostly to make tattoos for the body or just enhancements for the body or uh, anything you might want to do here okay okay just let's try it out here in the world I'm gonna try to bake something here for reals here. Actually, I just made this thing, <laughs> and I'm trying to make like live action. Of course, here, guys, you not get perfect textures. You guys need to retouch some stuff. Okay. And where is our heart here? Ugly heart. I just drew there. Let's see how it comes out. Okay. <coughs> I have the initial body here, so it has a really preeminent chest, so it gets a little fuzzy here, little weird. But as you guys can see, um, I projected the texture here, the draw, on the chest. I opened, I saved, and I just, um, I did not upload this because I just want to show you, but it's here if you guys want to upload this. Okay. Let's try to make like a Oh, I'm putting like uh, two dummies here as well if you want to test on the, the mesh. Um, if you want to test on the mesh, please save this with the base te te texture here so you can see. So you it will get transparent here. Okay. Um, they got a little disturbing here, but actually, I just put this thing here for. And actually, I don't know. Maybe it's useful and somehow, because we are we test these things on our ourselves here. I mostly use like a a more slim body, just legs or something. And the reason I just put the male version because it's actually the same uh, as LUV, basically, a little changes here and there, and you guys can do it on yourself on Photoshop. Okay. You can you can even grab the the female um SLV as well. You can work around with this, okay? Um to be a little quicker here, let's try the um, I saved a um, 
a tattoo here I wanted to try with you if you guys want to search for like draws or, or tattoos please use it uh, save it with a transparent background okay and I mean you can just mix and match things I mean I'm not here to teach you how to make tattoos or anything I just here to teach you how to work with this <laughs> you can get as creative as you want okay I'm going to make this uh, try to make this on the his back um, so I don't want the heart ugly heart to anymore so I'm going to search for the top here open it sometimes it, it comes some like uh, warning messages here on Photoshop but it's okay you can either del delete the layer when you do another thing you put another blind layer hit save okay s um, here here guys if you guys want to mess around with the lightning of this thing um, as you guys can see on the back I just got really messy I just could <laughs> work around it with the lightnings here but it, it's pretty pretty simple <coughs> you will click twice on this box we will find the lightning here and we will just turn around the lightning here where you want to put it okay I'm gonna try to eliminate his back here actually it's really simple if you and um, okay guys my Photoshop just crashed here I just need to warn you guys it will um, use a lot of memory okay so please be aware of this thing if your computer can handle more you can even um, make the it bigger okay I'm going to turn around him okay I showed you um, where the lightnings are you click twice here in the mesh you're gonna find the an infinite light thing here I'm in service Portuguese okay you can even uh, I mean I think you can like uh, grab the meshes to select them all and let's try to move it oh no 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 please don't do it try not to move <laughs> around the meshes let's try the scene here the scene is not working as well please try not to mess much around with these meshes or it will not work at all for the the purpose of this thing so let's try to let's try to um, put the lightning on his back here okay I just go into the scene I just move it all around you can move all sides you can make okay you can turn off the lightnings here but in my case if I turn off the light it will get all like black I guess yes black okay so if you guys manage to just take off this lightnings and get all the, the lightnings just of the texture it will get awesome 
even better you don't need to mess around much with this thing okay let's try to add this here okay so you click on the light and the same thing you can do with as the mesh you can do with the light here this this um, tools here will guide gu guide you okay it crashed again be right back <sighs> okay guys it's crashing a little bit here I just um, click on the light and um, I went here and just moved the, uh, the light just all the way 180 degrees here okay just to show you guys I mean um, now I'm going to try to put the the texture I saved here on his back okay I'm not going to make a, m a lot bigger here because it might get a lot of pixelation here and here and here okay but let's try and see what happens here okay got my transparent background image here you go on the 2d 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 layer okay We'll place it around some place we want to to be. This might get a little small though, I guess. No. Okay, try to like position the the mesh uh, correctly, or else it will. If you guys can see, it's very big here on the screen, so it might work. It might work. <laughs> Let's try. If it crashes, I will go back again, okay? Again, you will merge down through the mesh. Okay, guys, so here I'm. Um, it's freezing a little bit because of my processor I'm not sure what's going on here but here's the tattoo okay I need to warn you that the quality of the textures will not get as good as it would because of the base mesh maybe that's why if you look closely here it's very big okay now I will try to merge down here. It will catch a lot of details, but it will get a little pixelated as well. Okay, but for like learning purposes, that's about this. Okay, of course, this one has a lot of details. So, okay, let's try here and open the top again if it's the torso <coughs> and it crashed again okay guys I guess it's because I'm recording at the same time I lower the size of this I'm going to merge down again <laughs> hopefully it will not crash again okay there we go we're gonna look for our top texture here, clicking twice. <coughs> so guys, I tried to fix the mesh here, maybe it was too big for my computer though. Here's the tattoo, and then now we will merge down the image okay I tried to pam as close as I could actually not as close as I could but anyways you're gonna open the top here now we can open it okay as you guys can see is on another layer here already 
we just need to uncheck this and save this as an PNG uh, dragon test. Okay. Let's um, see the size of this just quickly here. Um, okay. It's even smaller. Okay. You can uh, make uh, these textures here uh, 20, 48 as well. Okay. Anyways, let's try it out on the world because it's almost half an hour <laughs> I'm trying to do this. I'm really sorry. I'm trying it with you guys. I'm putting this smaller version as well on download. Okay. So we just made our dragon tattoo here. Let's see how it comes out on the world. Okay. Dragon test. Okay. Save. Let's see. It's not going to look like perfect. Okay. As you guys can see, this body I'm using here is like um, has a lot of curves, but it's supposed to go here. <laughs> Let me try to put my legacy body here just real quickly to see. It. Just let me show you quickly here without any mesh body. Okay. You need to um, zoom in as much as possible to the the part you want to draw or project the the image. Okay. Because it's not really nice, but it's just for learning purposes. Let's put the legacy here real quickly. Okay, guys, I got my legacy body here. You guys can see it's a little awkward, a little like slim, but you can. I mean, you were projecting something here. You might try to fix this. You might wanna. Like, let's see here. Just make a little bigger here. Let's see how it turns out. You will need to make this with all the things you do on. Um, on Second Life, you know that, you guys, we work with textures, you always need to tweak the things, and here, save, let's see, how it turns out, okay, got a little better, Let's try to edit a little up here, here, here. Let's save again. I hope. It's Just a little bit up here, let's see.
I put a dummies there just for I don't know reason you might need, but we always test test these things on ourselves though, you know that. Okay, here. Let's see how our dragon comes out. It got a little better, though. Yes. I think it's way too close to the neck here. Always save transparent uh, textures when it's finished. Okay, <laughs> don't forget. Okay, hit save. Let's see how it turns out here. Okay, the position is kind of off court, and I have the the male body here as well, um, with a shape. So, anyways, um. <laughs> well, a hint for you guys who are making tattoos or any feature you want to make, please do not upload like this. It will look like a painting on your skin. Just lower, lower down the opacity to this, so like 90 or 95. Maybe 92, let's see. You can put like two or three mm, types of opacities here do not upload this like a you know here's 92 okay I'm gonna put this to like 85 uh, for you guys to see Okay, 85. I think it's okay here for the purpose of the test. Um, it's it's very colorful still though, but anyways. I'm doing this live guys, I'm really sorry if you guys are a little bit <laughs> uh, anxious, please put on like uh, faster speed to see what's happening. Okay, let's see how it turns out. Okay. It's not like a perfect, but... Lower to 80, let's see how it turns out. Okay, guys, it's gonna be like this. I'm going to show you guys here how it turns out, and uh, I'm going to show you how it turned out on a real scan, not on this metal thing here. Okay, I'll just hit the uh, pause button here. After you finish the work, your work here, you can save in any ways. If you save here on the 3D, it will turn a little weak awkward here, okay, because of the mesh. But I made this mesh because of the pr projection purposes. Okay, it's not gonna turn out like this, as you guys are seeing here even though with the mesh bodies okay so just play around with this okay you guys can uh, let me see if this does not crash here again you can uh, can make anything here can the arms legs and, and 
thing. You can even draw things on the face. You can change the size of this file. Okay, if you just like working only the on the face, you can like try making and makeup and stuff. Again, again, guys, it got really weird. But the projection purpose was kind of fine here. Okay, I'm gonna pause here, put a skin, and show you guys how it turned out. Okay, hey guys, I got uh, um, a human skin here. Let's test it out here how it turned out. Again, the shapes and bodies may vary, so it may get a little weird as well. It got pretty decent, I guess. Um, you can lower even more the opacity of this. Okay, I got 80 here. Let's put 70. Let's see. Actually, I got a uh, really colorful um, image here. So, anyways, let's see. Okay, it's on seventy percent opacity, and it's even colorful, as you can see. Okay. Um. Again, guys, I'm not like a tattoo artist or something. <laughs> Just to show you guys how you can work out with this if you wish to um I have this tool I mean <coughs> I understand it's very hard to like um <coughs> to get like a UV map like this and try to um, match um this image here even though it's even though if it's on the um, on smaller are areas like um, arms or like I don't know smaller things here it might get messy might take a while okay and that's about it guys I hope you guys like it I'm going to send this that along with <laughs> back so it's really really awkward though but let's say 65 some of you might be looking to this and be like what the hell <laughs> this is awful okay but that's about it guys for the pur purpose of this video hope you guys I showed you everything about this and it's mostly um, well then you guys will upload this and just wear it let's, let's see how it turns out uh, with me uploading this and really b um, rezzing in the world here let's see <coughs> let's see how it turned out mm, yeah it turned out like the image I put there maybe the image was not so pretty or maybe I couldn't like fix it but again guys let's just like show again here project okay here if you want to make another one just make another layer here turn on turn off the one you're not working okay 
and again you guys will choose the part of the body the image okay you guys want to put the image a key let me say let me s uh, see say again sorry on the two the layer um, on the two the layer okay like this on the two the layer then you're going to position you're going to merge down on the part you want and then you're going to open and then adjust it adjust this as I did and that's about it guys hope you guys like it I'm going to try to make something I'm going to put all the files I put the two, the two big files and one small file okay Again, you're going to be needing a Adobe Photoshop CC 219 at least, okay, with the 3D option. Um, I put as well the OBG and the Collada ma uh, files as well. If you guys want to work with this on the Blender or any other software, okay. But that's about it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy it and hope it's useful to some someone out there okay bye bye